to the first of our guests tonight, um, who's Lara Kennedy. Um, now she um, comes from Wales, from Cardiff, I think. Yeah. Um, is that right? Correct. Yeah. And her parents are from Derry in Northern Ireland. Um, she is a Welsh word lover as a result of this Celtic mix. Her writing is inspired by ancient Greek and Roman poetry, as much as by that squirrel in the park who just came over to say hello. Uh, Laura, I can't remember a time when she didn't write poetry and is now a firm believer in following your bliss. And she's recently decided to take poetry seriously. So we're seriously delighted to have Laura Kennedy here for the first time at Dodo Modern Poets. inspired by the fact that all my friends kept inviting me to go and eat cupcakes with them or decorate cupcakes and do all these classes and I wrote a poem, poem in response to that. It's called Life is a Cupcake. Life is a cupcake but please go easy on the icing. All stuff and nonsense, all fluff and no substance. That bit of sweetness is bitterness for that bit of me that beats my heart that keeps me alive. Sure, the icing is a feast for the eyes, but the disguise cannot hide that it leaves us empty inside. Human cannot live on icing alone. Bones will become, and it will hold on to its hollowness for that too is on loan. The competition is for the thickest icing, for the latest clothing, for the highest building from the top of which you can no longer see the earth below. Quietly and confidently, the cake underlies all. All that we are, all that we always will be. And a surprise may arise, a current, a walnut, or better yet, a chocolate chump. Moments of true tasting, a taste tasted not by the tongue, but by that which gives us the power to taste. There are those content to leave the cupcake on the shelf, to look through a pane of glass, avoiding any pain, gain, or change of any sort. And there are those for whom the crumbs are the only thing. They do not lift their eyes to see what might have been. And then again, there are the bakers. <coughs> Whatever's left in the cupboard, no recipe, just come for tea. It's all carefree, homemade is the key. But there are those who take a bite. Lips parted, tongue down, they are careful to consume the cake in its entirety. No crumb will be forgotten in these cases. Life is a cupcake, but please go easy on the icing. The spice I choose to taste, not seen, only felt. And this one is quite different. It was inspired by an Indian Buddhist scholar who lived in the 8th century called Shantidewa. And he told a story about leather soles. If you want to walk on an earth of leather, don't go covering the earth, just cover the soles of your own feet. If you want to hear birdsong wherever you are, don't go catching the birds, just adjust your own ears. If you want to live in a world where the sun always shines, don't go holding back the moon, just brush away the dirt from your own eyes. If you want to bathe in a sea that never ends, don't go removing the shores, just dive into your own depths. If you want to communicate with nature, don't go teaching animals to speak, just forget your own language. If you want to live in a world full of light, don't go taking a match to each person, just make sure your own flame is lit. If you want everyone to understand you, don't go persuading their minds. Just see in them your own self. And if you want to be loved, 
don't go dressing for romance. Just love. For love in you is love in your world. Where is it? I've looked in my shoebox. You know, the one that keeps all the little things I can't lose. Christmas gift tags, broken key rings, used concert tickets, love notes from boys too young to know how or too cool to spell well. Love. L. U. V. The story of my life mapped in pieces of paper. When the glue of my breath is no more, they will be easily burned, easily torn, easily dropped on the street. The ticket for somebody else's lottery. But what I'm looking for is nowhere to be seen. My memory fails me. I don't know what it looks like. But I know I'll know it when I see it. When I see it, I'll feel it. I'll feel it somewhere so far within me, it will feel as far away as the sun. And maybe that's it. The sun. But the sun is not in my shoebox. Then where? Maybe it's the box itself. Maybe it's the feel of the cardboard. Maybe it's the reading of the logo. Maybe it's the touch of the carpet against my kneeling knees. Or my blinking eyes. Or my slow breath. Maybe it's in each moment. Yes, this one, right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one is a love poem, so it needs no introduction. No time. No weeks do we have to waste with playing games, waiting hours to reply. Your message, a hand left hanging, longing to feel its likeness and aliveness yet to be known. And absent is another hand, one that crawls on all fours, each step a second. No tick, no talk to entertain my ears and soothe my fears that I may never hear the phone, the fanfare for your voice. No evenings do we spend embraced by food and wine where words are passed as dishes beneath our noses, opening our senses, hoping the next entwinement will involve nothing but ourselves. And once outside, spied only by the moon, there are no minutes to wonder how much longer your eyes will reflect the stars before reflecting the spaces between them, your generous breath taking mine. For time gives us just one gift, a moment, that favoured by life, when the sun lifts the lids from our eyes and side by side we lie on sheets which belie their weaver, eternity. And this is my last poem for this half. I did a creative writing course. It was a script writing course. And the guy who was taking it made a little comment at the end. And he said, a story is love. And that inspired me to write a poem. A story. That glorious vessel, a story, departs with parted lips. A kiss the greatest wordsmith. Its sails curve carved by the nestles of love, its hull cradled and lulled by the waves of Agape's arms, each beam burnished by that aroma which by a lover is known. The helm aligns with those outlines drawn on night, that sole canvas worthy of love's hand. Its mark on the horizon, a blessing on the union of heaven and earth, and the welcome at harbour, all too familiar, each bay but a beat of the self same heart. Thank you. Very, very beautiful opening set there from Lara. And uh, please uh, give her more applause. Lara will be back in the second half.
Um, our next uh, performer tonight is uh, Claire Molly, and uh, Claire was born in Bradford, 